Good morning, everybody. I hey, hope your day starting off fresh, uh, rejuvenated from a, a restful night. And maybe for some, it was a rough evening, a rough night. But we can agree and say this is the day the Lord has made. We will and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, 21 day challenge with PT. So the Lord, my, my, usually my time I get up for prayers between six and seven. I get up about six in the morning and pray. And um, sometimes it varies. I'll get up a little earlier than that. Well, Lord woke me up early, early. Well, I could probably just say, I just couldn't go to sleep and put me in a place of intercession and begin to intercede and, and pray. And uh, one of the things I heard the Lord during a time of prayer is that turn the volume up. And I began to ask God, what does that mean? Turn the volume up. And um, only thing I can recall that came to my spirit during that time was Shaq, Rabbi, me, Shaq, and Abednego, and how they was in the fire furnace, and how King Nebuchadnezzar, he turned up the fire um, hotter than they usually turn it up. And um, if you notice that what happened is that every time when his, um, his, I would say his soldiers or people that's on his team, when they would throw them in, they died. But Neb Nebuchadnezzar, uh, I mean, Shaq, Rabbi, Meshach, and Abednego did not die. And through the fire, because it was turned up, that notice that Nebuchadnezzar saw, sees the Son of God. He said, that looked like the Son of God that's in the midst of their life. Okay, Pastor Tommy, what's your point? So I, I want to let you know is that the enemy's always going to turn up. <laughs> He's always going to turn up his volume uh, of distraction, any areas to throw us off. The problem is, is that in the midst of the fire, is that we have to realize is that we have to turn up more on God so that even when the enemy comes against you, that they will see the Son of God in you. I hope that makes sense. So in your time of prayer, you set a, you set a time, but don't limit to what God wants you to say in that time of prayer or those that are filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and just hear what the Lord is saying, how he wants you to pray. But I believe that when you turn up your volume in prayer, not, not talking about sound, how loud you get, but just don't limit you, do not limit yourself to just one day of prayer. And it doesn't have to be long, but you just take time to pray. And then during the day, take some time to pray. And before you go to bed, take some time to pray. However you do it. But I, I heard the Lord say, you, you need to turn up the volume in prayer. And when you turn up the volume in prayer, he says, you will see victory. So those that are on this 21 day challenge with me, those that are doing some individual time with me, um, you know who you are, that I'm encouraging you to turn it up. Turn up your time in prayer. Turn up your time in intercession. Turn up your time um, um, completing your goals. I, right now I'm walking, I'm in pain because I double up my, my workout. But you know what? I gotta turn it up. Too many people are dying. Too many people are leaving out of this world. So I gotta turn it up. So I'm encourage you. I hope it, hope this made sense for you today. Hopefully I I uh, I explain with clarity. Just to turn up your volume, turn up your time in prayer, turn up um, your time with the Lord, and believe God for breakthrough and victory, you will see victory. The 21 day challenge with PT, and have a blessed day, and don't know what I perform against you, shall be able to prosper. Let's turn it up, God bless.